In today's episode, you are going to learn how to create the dark, dramatic, safia look in Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. The request for today's episode was made by Gavi Chima on Instagram. So if you want to make a request for any tutorial, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Harshwardhan Art and leave your request there. This technique is really good to give your images a stylized look and this works best with the studio shots and the fashion shots. So if you are watching Gavi Chima, here is your tutorial. And if you are serious about taking your photography and photo editing skills to the next level, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And to subscribe, just click the big red button below this video and don't forget to bring the bell icon as well. That way you will not miss any new video from this channel. Having said that, let's get started. So for this purpose, we are going to take this image and uh, we are going to turn this into the dark, dramatic, sepia, high contrast look. All right. So that's what I call it. And I hope you can call it with whatever name you want. So first of all, we are going to create a duplicate copy of it. So we'll press Ctrl J, Command J. And once again, we'll do the same. We'll press Ctrl J or Command J to have a duplicate copy of it. And then we'll change its label and mode to, let's say, multiply. And that way we'll get this uh, dark background and we get much more lots of contrast in the image and then what we are going to do will create an adjustment layer so that would be the hue and saturation and we'll lower down its saturation to something like this so that we can have the safia color over it so we'll go to the adjustment layer and now we'll go to the photo filters and in the photo filters we'll select the safia from here it is down on the bottom you can see safia and we'll increase its strength to our density to something like this and we can even choose the color so let's try the color and let's take some dark color or uh, let's choose something like this okay so let it be this way so we'll get this or let's leave it go for the filter itself all right and increase its density so once we have increased its density now you can see we have already got the safe yellow but it still misses that high contrast look all right so for that purpose we'll go to the adjustment layer and we'll create a curves adjustment and we'll create an s curve to something like this all right and that's going to give us lots of darkness or lots of contrast you can see but we need to make the shadows visible or make the shadows faded so for that purpose we'll come down over here in the curves adjustment panel over here we can affect the shadow so we'll click on this point and drag it up so that way we can open up the shadows a little bit something like this all right not too much so that we get to see some dynamic range in the shadow area as well and then we'll go to the adjustment layer and we'll select the color balance adjustment layer and now we are going to add a little bit red in the midtone we are going to first target the midtone and let's add the yellow to it and let's add a little bit magenta yes and increase the red all right and let's go to the shadows in the shadows as well we'll try to add the red little bit red and the shadow uh, yellow little bit not do too much all right little bit yellow or to the minus four and uh, you can try out and this is all trial and error method because you just can't use the same setting on every image all right now we'll go to the highlights because all images are different and in the highlights as well you're going to add a little bit red 
something like this and yellow or let's try the magenta let's try something like this okay and now we need to create a duplicate copy of all of these layer so we'll press ctrl alt shift e or command option shift e if you are using mac and then we'll again change its layer plan mode to let's say darken or multiply i think multiply is just fine and or let's try the overlay or screen no screen is not looking good soft light all right so let's go for multiply and lower down its opacity so it depends on how much contrast you want in your image so if you want more contrast you can add this and if you don't want that much of contrast you can just leave it as it is all right so let me just show you let me increase the contrast a little bit something like this and then we are going to create a mask over it and using the brush tool with the black color 100 opacity or let's make it 50 percent so i'll press 5 on my keyboard and let's paint on the these areas on the background okay so that we get some little bit contrast okay or we can get to see the shadows little bit or the background okay so our look is almost ready now we need to sharpen it a little bit more so we'll press ctrl alt shift e and then we are going to change this layer plan more to linear light and we'll go to the filter other and choose high pass and we're going to choose 1.2 that's fine for the images and you can see we have made it too sharp so what we can do we'll lower down its opacity to something like this 50 percent and now this one is looking much better you can see we have got this gold effect or dark high contrast safia look let me just group all these together and show you the before and after so this is before and this is after so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and don't forget to download the exercise files for this tutorial link is in the description section below and if you want to support this channel make sure you check out my premium tutorials by going to my website harshwadhanart.com and once again if you still have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing and once again to subscribe just click the big red button below this video and don't forget to ring the bell icon as well that way you will not miss any new video from this channel so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you bye bye